Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe. Let's jump into it and have a look and see. Uh, Scorpio, when will you meet your soulmate? Scorpio. Okay, let's start off with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups can symbolize a journey of some kind here, Scorpio. Now, the Eight of Cups can speak about a physical journey. Some of you um, might be meeting your soulmate whilst you're on a trip, whilst you're relocating, when you relocate, maybe moving to a foreign country, a new city. The Eight of Cups can be searching for depth and meaning through adventure and movement. For a lot of you, it could be that you're on some sort of path or quest of soul searching, um, a quest to find yourself, to find what resonates, to find your passion. Um, it could even be moving away from a situation or moving away from the past. I say the past because the moon card is cancer energy, which can be quite sentimental and residual in the past. You also have the sign of cancer, which has come up with the chariot card. So um I feel this could be this could have some sort of link here to moving away from the past. So walking away from someone or having them walk away from you is going to open up the avenue in which you will encounter a soulmate twin flame connection. Now the 8 of cups can be that physical journey I did mention that inner spiritual side. Yes, it can also be self transformation, self improvement. But I really feel for a lot of you, there's something about an adventure, foreign lands, foreign cities, foreign environments. Uh, and this quest, this walking into the unknown is, is, is going to connect you with a soulmate, which is very, very powerful. You are the cups, Scorpio, and you're literally walking into that Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords can symbolize a new chapter in our lives, um, a new job, a new phase a new milestone. The symbolism here is something new that's going to open up into your life. So you might notice that this person comes into your life when you get a new job, when you have a new living situation. Um, but I feel with the Ace of Swords, it can also be something to do with a battle um, or prevailing over thoughts, prevailing in communication or mentally becoming stronger than, than you ever thought possible or during which you'll be fighting something, fighting for something, fighting for someone, this is when this person can enter your life. So with the Ace of Swords, it could be that there's an air sign here, absolutely. But I feel it's more to do with having courage to walk away from a situation or to fight a situation. So some of you might be noticing um, a soulmate might be coming in when you're fighting an addiction. Uh, when you're fighting even with another person, when you're fighting to have your sanity back, when you're fighting for justice, when you're fighting for something you believe you need to fight for, um, it's in your destiny in, in some way, shape or form here. And it's that fight, it's that struggle, it's that ambition to reach that goal, to have that experience, to be who you are mentally, okay, mentally more enlightened, more fulfilled. This is what's going to bring you in. I feel like this is what's going to happen potentially and bring you into alignment with a soulmate. It could be, as I said, it's more to do with mentality or communication. You could be, you know, there could be someone trying to fight for you, trying to fight for your communication, fighting to stay in contact with you. And that's when this person comes in. Because you do have the beautiful Nine of Cups card. The Nine of Cups is the wish card. It's the dream card. It's things falling into alignment. And before things fall into alignment, maybe we need to welcome in that Ace. So for a lot of you, there could be something to do with things falling into place. But you fighting for justice, fighting for freedom, fighting for sanity, fighting for self-love, fighting the ego to overcome the pain body, etc. But that Nine of Cups does represent water energy. You do have water cards, so there could be a meeting here in Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio periods. But Cancer has come up sort of twice with the moon here and the chariot. And the, uh, the dates of Cancer are June 21st to July 22nd. So there could be a time frame here. You might have connected with this person. 
you might even have walked away from them already, Scorpio. Maybe the two of you are fighting to be together. I think for some of you, there is a notion of wishes have been fulfilled. Dreams have come true. This person has come into your life, made a difference, made an impact, aligned with you spiritually. And for some, you might be taking a break from this person. You might be disconnected right now. Maybe you're not in contact right now. But this could be validation from the universe that you have come into contact, come in, cross paths with a soulmate already. Because the Nine of Cups is having everything, having your cake and eating it too, which is quite powerful. Um, I feel for others with the Nine of Cups, there's some sort of other wish that you're going to fulfill in your life. And this dream or goal or ambition or person or whatever it is that you've been wishing upon, you've been wanting to bring into your experience and bring to fruition, it's going to be this, it's almost like wishes manifest along wishes. So there's other things that you've wanted that will be popping up into your life around the same time as when this soulmate comes in. And the Nine of Cups can be seen as a bit of like a fantasy, like a dreamlike state. It's an otherworldly card. It's It could be shock, yes. But I feel this person is coming into your life at a period where you're feeling the aftermath of just having fulfilled a wish or the the process of other wishes coming to your coming to your um coming into your life so essentially the nine of cups it can be things falling into order as well fighting for justice fighting for balance that could be it as well scorpio uh, nonetheless there is a powerful union look for some of you the sphinxes are next to each other so there's a divine feminine divine masculine connection here that's destined in the stars you can see the stars in the canopy and I feel for some of you, your soulmate is already next to you. Now, not for all of you, but for some, they're either in your past. Remember, cancer energy is something we hold on to. So it's still residual. It's either they're in your past and then coming back, or they're already next to you somehow. And you've got the potential to combine this relationship and drive it to greatness. Because the chariot card is greatness. It's overcoming obstacles. It's victory. The Chariot card can also be a card of fame, prestigiousness, recognition, reputation. So for some of you, a soulmate might be coming in when you've reached a certain level of it in your reputation, when you've earned a certain amount of respect, self-respect, respect from other people. It can be at a time when you've um, overcome obstacles. The Chariot is victorious in one way or another. It might be at a time when you've overcome an addiction. It might be at a time when you've reconciled with your past. You've accepted the past. Maybe there's been breakthroughs because of the past, because of what's happened before. The chariot card can also be a card of titles, um, acknowledgement, accolades, accomplishments. So for a lot of you, it could be reaching a certain level in your career, reaching a level where there's accolades, where there's recognition, where you're dominating in your industry. You know, the chariot is very intimidating, but it's dominating. People knew who was driving the chariot. People were aware. So I don't know if this is coming back to self-awareness, Scorpio, or holding some sort of prestigious title or accolades or acknowledgement. Nonetheless, I feel for a lot of you, this person could be coming into your life this way. Now, for others, this person is going to be a real prominent figure. They might be someone well-known. They might be someone you've had your eye on before. They might be someone you meet through even uh, things that are in the spotlight. Uh, could even be someone famous. It's almost like they might have a star quality to them here, Scorpio. And the two of you might notice each other from afar. And then the stars will align the two of you together. Because the black and the white sphinx both have this chariot in their control they're behind the driver's seat here uh, but it's also something to do with emotional attachments if it's cancer energy if uh, this person could be coming in at a time where you learn codependency reliance trust and attachments Maybe you haven't experienced that before. Maybe you're yet to, or maybe that, that will be the catalyst in which this person will come and enter your life and offer you that wonderful new ace. 
I will leave it at that though, Scorpio. Thanks so much for tuning 